So I'm going to tie a little uh, trigger fish fly here. Um, it's basically a fuzzy looking squimp type thing. Uh, it has no name, um, but it's it's basically a squimp. Um, tied on the owner fly liner, size four. Um, it's a nifty little pattern, um, and uh, triggers love it. So I'll go through the materials as I tie them in, and there'll be a link in the bio. So as I said, the hook is the owner fly liner in a size four. Can go six as well, uh, but they are quite small hooks, quite short shank. Um, so uh, yeah, four is four is a pretty good size. Um, thread is a 210 Danville's flat waxed in white. Um, and the eye is a four mil yellow and back pupil dumbbell. Obviously you can nickel plate the, or you can tungsten if you want as well. Uh, these don't need to be super heavy because they're going to be fished in Mm, shallowish water so I've just brought the thread all the way back um, around the bend of that hook and I've got a single strand of barred orange crazy legs just bring that thread to behind the eye and I'm just going to I've doubled it over into a, a single strand into a loop so loop towards the eye of the hook about a third of the way down the double strand and then I'm just tying it in wrapping my thread back and then I'm going to pull that loop tie it directly on top so that when I split it like that it goes on either side just need to make those ends so you can add flash here if you want um, because these are going to go in super skinny water flash is not and they're sight fished don't really need the flash so I'm leaving it out as per the request so this is tan arctic fox uh, it's actually quite a dark tan it wouldn't be your standard light tan I dyed this myself um, so I wanted it slightly darker there we go short little pinch it's only a little bit longer than the whole length of the hook I was just going to cover up those uh, those rubber legs and then we're going to create a dubbing loop so that's double over the double a double loop um, add strength to the uh, to the loop itself um, so less chance of all coming unraveled and if a single loop breaks while you're doing this you've still got the second one holding everything together so this is a small pinch of Nutria. I used to use rabbit for this part, but I actually prefer Nutria just because it's got those nice long guard hairs and really dense under fur. And the rest of the loop is going to be made up of, um, I think, I'm not 100% sure if, it, if I've got the correct one. It's called the flat stub. Um, this is a the flats crab tan I think from fly ties dungeon and some SLF fiber I'm just gonna put the two together blend the two take out some of that super long stuff I'm gonna put that in the dubbing loop with my uh, nutria you can't see the end of my dubbing loop because it's out of the camera but I'm spreading it along so the whole loop for these size fours be about eight eight centimeters long which is just over three inches i'm just adding a little bit of wax to my thread there stick everything together spin it all up while it's spinning i'm just going to use my old tooth trusty toothbrush just to untangle any other trap fibers as you can see you don't need a lot of that leggy dubs b12 
because a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm just going to add a little bead of super glue just to reinforce this loop when it's wrapped in. And it will sit and soak into all the fibers nicely. And then we're just going to wrap this around, figure of eight it over those uh, dumbbell eyes. Just pulling it back a little bit as I tie to uh, make sure that not too many of them get trapped. Locking it in, cutting off that loop. And just again, toothbrush it or brush, whatever you have, dog brush. I prefer the toothbrush, as I've said in literally any video that I've used. Just trimming off the uh, belly of that. So it's all sitting on top of the shank nicely. Help flip that fly in the, in the shallow water quickly. And then I'm just taking another orange and black barred leg, folding it in half, cutting it um, in half. But I need a weed guard as well before I tie in those front legs. So 25 pound single prong of uh, Mason's hard mono. Tie that in, lock it down, trim it off. And then fold this on. I'll show you on the other side there in a second. Fold it on so it just goes just past the uh, the bend of the hook, not too far. Don't want them too long, otherwise they tend to foul. Well, that's my experience anyways. And then fold it back over the other side. As you can see, it's just coming back to there. These are probably still a touch long, so they can be trimmed in a bit. Folding back the other side, so you loop the front. Tie it off, double knot. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of orange marker to that thread, darken it up, and then drop of oh god it's got smashed down a bit. There we go. Drop a super glue on that thread so it doesn't go anywhere. Cut your loop, and that's it. That's your trigger, trigger fish squimp, no name job, but does the job. Quite a quick pattern, as I try and make all my patterns. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, chat soon.